go to everybody. If I asked you to make a paper plane, you would probably build something that looks a little bit like this. But today we're going to make a different type of plane. It's called a hoop glider and it looks just like this. For this experiment, you are going to need some sticky tape, a ruler, a straw, a pencil, scissors and some A4 paper. So to get started, you're going to measure strips of three centimeters wide along the width of your paper and then you're going to cut those strips out using the scissors. So you should have two strips that look just like this. Now you want one of these strips to be shorter than the other by about three quarters of its length. So I'm just gonna snip off one of these ends here, like that. And now you've got two strips the same width, but one is a little bit shorter than the other. Now you're gonna turn those into a loop and you're gonna tape the ends together with some sticky tape. So just curve them around and tape the ends together like that. Do it for the other one, which is gonna be a little bit bigger because it's a little bit longer. Tape the ends together. So now you should have two little loops that look like this. One of them is bigger than the other. Now you're gonna take your straw. You can either use a drinking straw or you can actually make a straw out of some paper. Just roll some together and tape it. And what you want to do is tape your loops onto the end of the straw. So you're gonna need a little bit more sticky tape and you're gonna take them on the ends one either side. Now what's important here is you want them to line up. So you don't want one on the top and one on the bottom like this, you want them both to line up so they look like they're in line with each other. So we know that planes fly because Basically, we have an aerofoil wing. And what that does is create something called Bernoulli's principle, which says that faster flowing air creates lower pressure. What you'll see here is you also have a curved surface. And what that's gonna do is make the air flow faster, creating lift. So when you've securely taped this down, what you're gonna do, and I've made one here earlier, is you're just gonna throw it with a little bit of force. That's gonna give this the force forward and it's gonna create lift and hopefully they should fly. Let's see. And so there you go, that's how you make a hoop glider. See you next time on Nana Girl's Great Science Adventures.